Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing how I make from scratch my chicken pie in my five in one 11 liter tower air fryer. So like I said, this is an 11 liter air fryer. I have got the manual version and it's the perfect all round cooking companion featuring five in one functionality that lets you use it as an air fryer, rotisserie oven, grill, as well as for baking and roasting as well. It features Vortex technology and has a 360 degree rotating system. All you need is a little bit of oil and the hot air rapidly circulates evenly, ensuring your ingredients are cooked thoroughly with a nice crispy texture. Packed with extra power, this air fryer can cook 30% faster than a conventional oven, cooking a one kilo chicken in 40 minutes. As you can see on the top, it's got adjustable temperature control from 80 to 200 degrees centigrade for precise cooking. As it has got a huge 11 liter capacity, it is the perfect cooking space for the whole family. So like I just said, the Tower Air Fry can cook a one kilo chicken in 40 minutes. So I have got myself here a one kilo whole chicken. I have just put it on one of the baking trays instead of the rotisserie and I am just popping it onto this kind of drip tray to begin with while I kind of season it. So what I'm going to start off by doing is getting myself some olive oil and I'm also going to put some salt and pepper onto this chicken to like I said give it a nice bit of seasoning. This is also going to help your chicken skin get really nice and crispy too. So once you put oil and salt and pepper on it I just like to rub the chicken to make sure that the oil is like evenly dispersed all over the chicken skin so you don't burn any sections of your chicken. Once I've made sure the oil is evenly dispersed and all over the chicken, I'm then going to pop it into my tower air fryer on 200 degrees centigrade for 40 minutes. Now my chicken is in my air fryer. You do have a little bit of time because you have 40 minutes here. So I'm gonna let it cook away for a good kind of 20 to 25 minutes before I come back and start prepping the rest of my bits for my chicken pie. It's now 25 minutes later and my chicken has got 15 minutes left. So I thought I would start prepping all my other veggies and bits like that ready for them to go into the air fryer once my chicken's finished. So what I have got here is I've got two carrots, one parsnip. Don't worry about remembering all of these ingredients. I will link them down below in my description box. And I've also got a leek, but I'm going to do something a little bit different with that in a minute. So I'm just going to start off by peeling my carrots and my parsnip, and then I'm going to cut them into rounds and then in half again. This is just going to be a really, really good size for them to cook through nicely. Once I've cut my carrots and parsnips up, I'm then going to be laying them onto my baking tray ready to go into the air fryer. These are all nicely cut into kind of similar size little chunks. So what I'm going to do is get some more olive oil, just put that over a little bit and then I'm also going to season with a little bit more salt and pepper as well. This has just got a couple of minutes left so I'm just going to put those to one side and I'm going to peel my potatoes. I'm going to be serving this pie with some nice roasty potatoes. I feel like pie and mash normally go together but today I'm going to do roast potatoes instead. Oh that chicken's looking good. Oh my gosh that skin looks amazing is done. I am going to take the chicken out very carefully because it's going to be lovely and hot. And then I'm just going to let it rest while I start cooking all of these other bits. Oh, <gasps> look at that. I'm going to put my veggies in on 180 degrees centigrade just for 10 minutes. That's just the right amount of time for them to get nice and soft, but also have a little bit of crunch left over as well. While that's cooking, we can keep on prepping. The thing I love about this air fryer is, as you can see, I just put in two different trays of items. I find with lots of other air fryers, you can just have like, you just have one basket and then everything kind of goes in together. But this way you can really section out the different items that you want to put in there and that's just perfect. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start prepping my sauce. So I'm gonna get some butter and I'm gonna put a nice knob of butter into this 20 centimeter round little baking dish. And I'm gonna heat that through in just a moment to let it melt. But I'm gonna start just cutting up my leek as well in the meantime. So as you can see, I'm not using an onion for this dish because when I use a leek, I think it gives it so much flavor that you really don't need any onion in here because the leek just does everything it needs to. I'm going to cut it really, really nice and finely. With that, I'm also just going to crush some garlic into here. So you guys know how much I love garlic. I've again got three cloves of garlic. Lots of people say I use too much garlic, but 
think you can never have too much garlic. So that's prepped and ready to go. I'm now going to start making my sauce. For my sauce, what I have got is 200 mils of veggie stock and I've got 100 mils of creme fraiche. And I'm also going to be using one teaspoon of Dijon mustard as well. This is going to add so much flavor to your pie and it's a step you definitely don't want to miss out. In goes my stock. In goes one teaspoon of Dijon mustard and also my creme fraiche. Here I have just got one teaspoon of corn flour with a little bit of water as well. And this is gonna act as a thickening agent to your sauce. Veggies are done. As you can see, they have cooked through really nicely. They won't be completely cooked through because they're going to do the rest of the cooking in the pie. I'm going to leave my potatoes in my air fryer while I prep the rest of my pie. So I'm going to just take the um, veggies off of here and I'm gonna pop this back into my air fryer. And then I'm going to get my little round with my butter inside. I'm gonna pop it in here, turn the air fryer on and just let that butter melt for a couple of moments. I'm gonna put this on to 20 minutes now because I'm going to kind of keep on opening and closing it to start just constructing my pie nicely. While that's just heating through, I'm going to cut my chicken up. When you cut your chicken up, do not throw away any part of your chicken. I always keep my carcass and I use that to make some bone broth and it's so good and it means you're not wasting a single part of your chicken. And I also just like to eat the skin like this. Oh my God, it's so crispy. I'm just gonna cut my chicken up now into little bite-sized pieces so I can add that into my pie. So that when you serve up your pie, you're making sure that everyone's going to get a nice piece of it. I'm just gonna quickly take out my butter dish and I'm going to add in my leeks. And I'm just going to pop these into the air fryer for a couple of minutes just so they can soften down before adding all the other ingredients into here as well. Right, after a couple of minutes, you're then ready to take out your leeks and then add in the rest of your ingredients. So these leeks have softened down really, really nicely. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in everything else. So I'm gonna add in my veggies, and I'm also going to add in my cooked chicken, and then I'm gonna pour my sauce all over my chicken and veggies. The last thing I'm going to do is just lay my short crust pastry over the top of my pie before cutting away any excess. And then finally, before popping it back into your air fryer to cook it for the last 15 minutes along with your potatoes, I have just got some milk here. You can use egg or milk, and I'm just going to brush it over my pastry to make sure it goes nice and golden brown. Right, back in your tower air fryer, this goes and is going to cook on 180 degrees centigrade for a further 15 minutes. And then this and your potatoes are ready to serve up and enjoy. It is done. Let's get it all out. Oh, these potatoes look amazing. You ready for my pie? Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Last thing that's left to do is to dish up and enjoy. That is your air fryer chicken pie. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you give it a try. I will link this air fryer down below and all of the ingredients that I have used for this recipe as well. I'm off to have my dinner. <laughs>